so it's uh, 2023 and I'm going to show you the closest you can get from uh, an internet television um, using uh, an Android TV box. It's actually a Shield TV that I've plugged on my uh, desktop monitor here. The reason I'm doing it like this is because for privacy reason, I don't want to show my, my own private setup at home. So you'll have to bear with me and um, imagine that it's a brand new 4K television of some sort. I'm going to use my smartphone here, which is an Android smartphone. We're going to unlock it and we'll use the, the Shield TV remote application here. You can actually download it for free. So I'm going to just switch it off and Imagine you just go home and you're about to watch some internet television. So you're going to use an application like Tvolution, which, which I showcased before. Um, and so in order to do that, you switch to the application drawer here from the Shield application. And all you have to do is run Tvolution. So again, switching it off, you're here, you type on Tvolution and the application runs from the smartphone on your television here. Once you're there, all you have to do is this. You run the monkey and you scan the video tag here and uh, you're good to go. And from this point, you can just, uh, you know, search your, uh, your content and just play whatever you feel. For instance, we can look for music. We can skim through the different tracks here. You know, once we find something we like, we can play it. And so from now, from now on, imagine you're on your bed or on your couch. You're just relaxing. You're watching some internet television. You can switch the volume, switch the volume here, mute it completely, maximize it, show the video tag so that anyone will be able to uh, catch the video you're on. And then I have my history here, and that's a really powerful thing because everything I've been watching for the last few hours are actually there. So I can switch to a mix I was listening to previously. And since everything is centralized under the same roof here, uh, you're pretty much switching from one backend to the other, whether it's on Vimeo here, for instance, or it could be on YouTube, it could be on Dailymotion or Twitch, which was updated recently. Um, so Twitch would work too. For instance, here, you might want to connect to, uh, to a given Twitch uh, video. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the current Twitch implementation is going to show you this small pre-roll, which is equivalent to the advertisement. As you might know, um, the Tvolution application is not uh, displaying any kind of pre-roll, including advertisement. So you won't see these. But on some backends like this one, for instance, you might see that kind of pre-roll. And so once I'm there, I can just switch to back and forth, YouTube again. So that's good. And uh, listening a little bit of music and then going back here, there's a new navigation controls here. I'm back to Twitch now. And so essentially using your smartphone as a modern remote for uh, internet television, really. I can switch to uh, something that I call hubs, which is a, a new proposal, essentially having some kind of a generic Blu-ray slash DVD menu for the internet. Currently, there's no navigation between Tvolution and the phone, except this one. You can actually scan them. So for instance, I can scan the electro tag here and pretty much extract playlist this way. It's not exactly convenient when you're on your bed, but something new is coming in the next few weeks. And once we're good to go, we can pick a video and just play it. And so that's pretty much the experience I'm having when I'm using uh, Tvolution on Android TV. And it's a very neat experience. The performance are pretty good so far. Here, I'm switching to a Dailymotion video, as you can see there. Um, and uh, yeah, that's uh, this kind of experience that enables you to have everything under the same roof and stop switching back and forth between different applications using whatever implementation they might have, Chromecast implementation, or what have you. Uh, here, you don't have to do that anymore. You just have your history backlog here. And uh, every time you, you want to access something, you just press it and play it. Here, we have a bunch of trailers for avatars, for instance. Let's go there. 
and uh, player trailer. So that's the way you, you interact with uh, Tvolution on the Android TV with the Motion Monkey application. The Tvolution application is currently sold on Android TV because it's, it's considered a premium version, but it's a little less than $1, so it's not too expensive if you, if you ask me. And uh, by buying it, you essentially sh show support for a modern tooling application and uh, open source development because 90% of the technology behind this is actually open source. And myself, I'm a VLC developer. So thank you if you consider using this and thank you for your feedback. If you can give me some, don't hesitate. Okay, so once I'm done watching TV here, essentially, what I want to do is just switch it off and go to bed. And so all I have to do there is just close the playback, go back to my Shield TV here, and press shut down. And just like that, I'm shutting down the, the, the Shield application. I can switch off my phone on my bed, the television switch on, and I'm ready to sleep. And uh, when I want to go back, just doing that, and the, the reverse action, pretty much uh, uh, switching it on. And as you can see, it's fairly rapid. And uh, once I'm there, just going back and we're good to go. So it's the closest you can get from a, an internet television that lets you go back and forth uh, between contents and access them horizontally. And while letting you uh, switching it on and switching it off in a very fluid manner, if you want, if you want. So thank you for your attention. Hopefully you find this useful for you, your friends and family, and see you next time.